Today, Dundalk TV is with Christina Gregorian, Republican candidate for the U.S. Senate. And you are from the Dundalk. Well, I grew up Essex in, area. Yeah, more or less. I mean, I grew up actually in the Fullerton, Perry Hall, White Marsh area. But uh, you know, I certainly feel an affinity here. My father was a steel worker and worked for Armco Steel for many, many years in the 70s so i am i feel like i'm part of this community as well okay um well i would say so you're, you're right there just outside the border that's right so um and thank you for stepping up and running not everybody has the courage to do that now what, what is uh what, what are some of the things uh, that you want to accomplish uh, or hope to accomplish while you're um, in office i've got four parts of my platform the first thing is to continue to promote economic growth. I believe, just like President Trump, that the rising tide raises all ships. I want to make sure that we create a community hand in hand with Governor Hogan to make sure we're bringing jobs, good paying jobs to this state. The second part of my platform is public safety. I grew up a mile from where Officer Caprio was, was killed. My elementary school was one of the ones that was shut down. Uh, on lockdown when they were looking for her attackers. I, I sent two boys to high school every day, wondering are they going to be safe in those schools. I want to support any efforts, including those by President Trump, to bring more U.S. attorneys to our uh, districts to make sure that we're prosecuting criminals who shouldn't be here. Um, I, I really firmly believe that we need to make sure people can get to work, get to school, get to the grocery store safely. The third part of my prong is transportation. We live in Maryland and we know what those needs are. In order to bring that growth, we've got to solve some of our transportation issues and work with Governor Hogan to bring those federal dollars here. And then finally, education. I think all of us in the state understand that moving toward the 21st century, we've got to look for the federal dollars that are available and bring them here to help Maryland students thrive, both in the classroom and in the lab room. Yes, well, I've been following a lot of stuff that's happening in the schools, and there's so much uh, problems in Baltimore County public schools. It, it is totally amazing. Um, there is no control. Um, you know, it's just uh, complete craziness. Um, I, actually, I was threatened with bodily harm by a student, so um, I just was totally amazed by that. So um, uh, supporting a group called Parents to Parents, I don't know if you've spoken with them yet, um, but, but they're a great organization. I hope that you'll support them. And let me ask one question uh, as well because they do a lot of special needs and I support the special needs uh, community. Um, do you have any kind of platform on the uh, special needs community and also what's going on in the schools? Yeah, absolutely. Look, I'm a graduate of Overly Senior High School in Baltimore County. I grew up here, my sister grew up here, and I understand how the county schools were and how they've really progressed to where they are now. I think there are a lot of issues surrounding uh, how we got there, but I am fully behind all efforts where federal dollars are available. And I want to be clear that a lot of education really needs to be a state and local community thing. We don't want too much federal involvement. But to the extent there are dollars for things like special education in particular, those block grants are available. We have to go after that money and make sure those dollars are here. The one thing I would note that we don't have right now in the Senate is really a partner to work with Governor Hogan and set up a call each week and say, Governor, what do we need? Here's what's on the agenda in the Senate. How can we get things done for the people who live here in Maryland, whether it's education dollars, transportation dollars, you know, any other money for uh, heroin and opioid addiction and in terms of helping those people. We need somebody to work with the governor at the Senate level so that we can get more of that money here and get our goals satisfied. Okay, now you mentioned that you have two children. What, what else um, do, you, do you do in the community um, and, and things of that nature? Um, well, uh, what, 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 what have you done, um, activist right. work? and, and I have like actually three children. I have two in high school. I also have a daughter who's a freshman in college. Well, she just finished her freshman year. So uh, I have three all together. I am a lawyer. I graduated from the University of Maryland Law School in Baltimore in 1996 and have practiced for 22 years. I've also been very involved in my Catholic faith. I've taught Sunday school for 11 years at Our Lady of Mercy Catholic Church. And I'm also uh, very involved in a board that raises money for the National Cathedral. We raise money for the gardens and grounds because we believe 
that a person's faith experience isn't limited to what they achieve just in the building, but being a part of the beauty of nature that's available there. Uh, we raise money to support those efforts. So I, I guess you would like to talk about the abortion issue um, uh, as well. Uh, you know, in terms of that and my position, I, as I mentioned, I'm a practicing Catholic. I've taught Sunday school for 11 years. As a matter of fact, uh, my family is very religious. My mother goes to Mass every day at St. Joseph's in Fullerton. And I certainly have my beliefs about that that are personal and to me. But my own position on that is that I would not change a, a, a woman's right to choose in terms of what to do with her body as it exists right now in federal law. Okay, and gun control is a huge issue as well. Would you like to talk about that as well? Absolutely. I support the Second Amendment. I have my boys, uh, both of my high school age boys, have gone uh, to be safety certified. They shoot sometimes at the Bull Run Range in Manassas, Virginia. They shoot in College Park at the range there with my husband from time to time. Uh, I grew up in a family of hunters that still maintain a cabin in West Virginia. I am not opposed to supporting the Supreme Court's decision in the Heller opinion, which upheld the right of a person, an individual, to own a gun to protect themselves. Well, thank you very much for doing the interview, and um, would you like to share any kind of contact information before we finish? Absolutely. You can reach me on my website, Gregorian for Senate, that's G-R-I-G-O-R-I-A-N, the word for, F-O-R, Senate.com, and I'm also on Facebook at Gregorian for Senate. I hope you take a look at my platform, just like I tell, you know, if you coach high, uh, youth basketball, where they say you can't coach height, meaning you either have it or you don't. I feel like you can't coach Maryland. I was born and raised here, grew up in Baltimore County. I, more so than any other candidate running against me, knows what it's like to be someone from Maryland. And I will pursue with every bone in my body efforts to make life better for the people who live here. Thank you. Best of luck to you. Thank you.